Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of A Plague Tale. It's your boy Kalego Gaming and you know how we do things around here. Chapter 11, Alive. That's what we're doing here today. Succeeded? Here. Have to warn you, smells a bit burnt. Who's he? Roderick. But shh. Uh, the sanguine is it's an error. What is this book about? It's it's the story of a little boy who's going to get a lot better now. Right, I'm starving. Anyone else? Me. Come and eat then. I think we deserve it. You too. Coming. No, no, no! Bloody hell! That's no good. Hey, are you all right? It's nothing! <sighs> Tell me, this door, have you ever opened it before? It's stuck. It's the only place in the chateau we haven't been yet. And don't you want to see what's behind it? Well, Hugo is asleep. Bam, I thought you said like three weeks. By the sound of your voice, it, seems, it sounds like it's been like three years. It's not an Inquisition guard. But at least I'll be able to continue training. Allow me to collect my goodies. Oh, it won't budge. Open this door. How about that? Come on, Roderick is waiting for me. Open the door. Let's go take a look. This at least I know how to do. All holdo sounded nice. Well, that was efficient and almost painless. Come on, let's go. Hold on, this is Peter right here. Can you feel that? No. What? When you enter a place that has been abandoned for a very long time, there's something in the air. Yes, dust. No, the stones. It's like interrupting a conversation. <sighs> this is the first time I felt it here. It's like interrupting a conversation, like, mate, what? I'm about to vote this motherfucker off the castle. He's weird. He can open doors, but what else can he do? <sighs> hmm. That looks dangerous. Let's avoid it for now. Another door. Shall we continue? Of course. Let's this see is where this leads us. Oh, the courtyard. It's a shortcut. If one would require such things. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. I found something while I was doing some clearing earlier. Come take a look. <sighs> Another story about stones? Actually, you're not far off. Follow Roderick, you say. Any chance we can get some goodies, though? I assume this is going to be a rather short chapter, considering the setting that we are in. Uh, that looks like nah. I'm oh. coming. Don't assume you know what I would like, mate. Right, so then... 
any goodies for your boy. What are you doing? I Do you didn't know how see long you it there. Took me? It must have been hiding under the weeds. What the fuck are you talking about? Can you relax for a second? It would make Hugo smile, perhaps. Hey, don't worry. He's a resourceful kid. I know, but. Listen, mate. Are you a right. fucking control freak or something? Fuck off. We got the do 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 Honey made from its flowers is said to carry toxins with hallucinogenic and laxative properties. I'm gonna fucking slip Roderick some of this shit. This is what seemingly thwarted the Greek army resulting in the retreat of the 10,000. A retreat of the 10,000. <laughs> uh, the soldiers gorged themselves on this honey after loading and suffered its effects. Its apparent harmfulness is probably what made it a symbol of risk and danger. Okay, so we have not too many, five flowers left. One gift left and six curiosities. What the fuck do you want, mate? A fresco. It's strangely familiar. It includes the symbols of the pillars. This castle has things to tell us, huh? And what is it telling us then? Even I don't understand everything. I just think we'll be fine here. What? Amicia! Come quickly! It's Hugo! Oh no. I'm coming! What kind of fucking conclusion I'll was that? I'll call you! Come on! Come I'll on. call you? I'm here, Lucas! Quickly! Hugo, please. Probably missed like a billion goodies now. It's getting worse and worse. The macula is progressing too fast. I realize that, Amicia. I'm doing my best. I. I mean, I'm trying to do what the book says, but it's going to take too long. I need a proper laboratory. Like Laurentius had? No, no. One with better equipment. Well, perhaps my mother at my home. She must have had some equipment there. You're right. It's worth a try. I believe your twins are back. Melly! You found him! More dead than alive. But yes. Amicia, we, we came because, well... Yes. Arthur, you tell her. After our little adventure with your heretic burning friends, I ended up in an Inquisition cell. One day I saw the guards accompany a prisoner who looked the worse for wear. Those bastards wanted her to tell them where her son was, so... They threatened her. Her name. Beatrice Storum. Mother is alive. She's alive. You managed to get Arthur out. And it wasn't simple. Believe me. So you could forget it. I was nothing. But she. She's too important to the Grand Inquisitor. He uh questions her a lot. They torture her? Hugo mustn't know anything of this. Even that she's alive? It might help him. And what will we say when he wants to see her? Tell him nothing, all right? Ah! Oh no! Hugo! Hugo! Ah! Ah! The next threshold. Ah! It's coming. We have to go at once. To my home. Now. Hugo, we'll stay here with him. It will be all right, my little brother. I swear. This time we will heal you. All right. I'll get the Sanguinity Genera and some potions, and then we'll leave. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> next chapter, or next episode, we're going to take care of chapter 12, All That Remains. Short and sweet episode.
Well, it's kind of weird. Probably the shortest episode I've ever had.